Okay. Today, little scientists, can you see these little worms? We're gonna be learning a little bit more about an earthworm's life. And of course, I have a story for you. It's called An Earthworm's Life, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. An earthworm spends most of its life hidden beneath our feet. In spring, an adult earthworm leaves its egg case in an underground burrow. Two months later, a baby earthworm hatches from its egg. It crawls out of the egg case. The young earthworm tunnels through the soil. At night, it feeds on dead leaves. Sometimes the earthworm eats soil. The soil goes through the earthworm's body. It comes out as a pile of round balls called castings. By fall, the earthworm is nearly full grown. It pulls dead plants into its burrow. The earthworm eats the plants until winter. Then it is time to sleep. Spring rains bring the earthworm back to the surface. When a hungry mole comes near, the earthworm sneaks away. The earthworm begins to look for a mate. It finds one outside a nearby burrow. Soon, part of the earthworm's body bulges with eggs. A ring full of eggs comes loose. The earthworm slips out of it. The ring becomes an egg case. The earthworm leaves it behind. When the earthworm comes above ground, a robin grabs it. The robin struggles to pull the earthworm out of its tunnel. But the earthworm is strong. The robin gives up. One summer night, heavy rains fall from the sky. By morning, the earthworm's burrow is filled with water. It searches for a drier place to live, but it gets stranded on a basketball court. A young boy picks up the earthworm. He puts it in a garden. The earthworm spends the rest of the summer tunneling among roots and eating soil. When cold weather returns, the earthworm sleeps underground. In spring, the earthworm begins a new journey. Let's take a closer look at the earthworm's life cycle. Now, I have my worm life cycle figurines and it's okay if you don't have these because I have included these in your activity packet this week. I've included the pictures of the life cycle of a worm so that you can put it, them in order. But let's go over them together first. Which one do you think starts the life cycle of the worm? That's right, the cocoons. And you can see from these little cocoons, you can see that the worm is hatching. So that's first. How about next? Yes. So you've got from the cocoon comes the little hatchling and then the juvenile worm. Now, what happens next is when the juvenile becomes an adult, it mates with another worm. And then that worm lays more eggs and the life cycle begins again. So let's review. We've got the cocoons and the worms start to hatch. Then we have, which at this stage, the, the worm is called a hatchling. Then we have a juvenile worm, which just means young, young worm. Then when the worms become adults, they find, one worm finds another worm to mate with and they have little babies and it starts again. They, the one worm lays 
the eggs and we start this life cycle over and over again. So remember, you have pictures. Your pictures are gonna look a little different than mine, but you have pictures that you can use to make the life cycle and you can either lay them out across or around in a cycle. All right. Thank you for joining me for this life cycle of a worm lesson. Remember to support our channel by liking and subscribing.